Right, hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to make an image that you've made into vector or a stamp. This is really helpful when you make like a big document and you only have like you make a little doodle but it's too small to put in. So let's just jump right in. So here's a smiley I've doodled and say I want to make like a brochure that's the size of US paper. See it's too small. It'll be too small if I drag it in so I'm going to drag this in. See it's too small. If I try bloating it up, it's gonna get complicated. Like it, it could get fuzzy and it just doesn't look good. So the best thing you could do is make this vector so it won't shrink. So so it won't get fuzzy no matter how big or small you make it. See like I zoom in and it's pretty fuzzy already. So this is a pretty easy tutorial. Um, let's just go ahead and start doing it. So what you want to do is you want to get your magic wand tool, your magnetic lasso. Uh, I'm using magic wand since it's pretty easy to just click some black spots so you see it highlights my images and you want to hold shift so it adds the selection so I have the shift you can see a little plus on the magic wand so you keep adding to your selection and once you have your whole image selected like my smiley face go here to your paths window and if it's not if your path window isn't open just go to here window Check on paths and it should pop up. Now, once you uh, so make sure everything's selected, everything you want, go to paths, click this little drop menu, and just click make new work path. And um, for the tolerance, just put 0.5 because that's the lowest one, it's probably the most accurate. So, there you go, you have your little selection now. Now, make sure your work path you want to make into this tab is selected. Click Edit, Define Custom Shape, and um, you can name it whatever, Smiley, and now it's a custom shape, but you have to go here to your custom shape, to your shapes tool, and go all the way down to custom shape tool, um, let me zoom out. So once you have your custom shape ready, go to your shape, and then it should be in your shapes tool. And make sure this part's selected so it makes it into an image. And you can just hold down shift and make it bigger and they'll keep the proportions. Oops. And there you go. And the reason it's kind of blocky is because I made my smiley smiley face in a really low resolution. Um you can I made 72 pixels per inch and it, it works better if it's 300 um, but there you go that's how to make stamps vector or make, yeah make make stamps and it does look blotchy but you don't see there's not you have to zoom in really close to get the pixelation so if you just just make sure to whatever image you have make sure to put in 300 dpi before you bring it in here and yeah thanks for watching